Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, the channel that just reached 50k subscribers and we reached 50k subscribers on my mother's birthday on heaven on the 1st of July. So coincidence doesn't exist, the numbers tell you. Bam! Guys, a short A video on this day, um, I'm going to make it max 10 minutes five amazing charts you need to see yes i understand that you're freaking out also going to show you why you should zoom out just enjoy the full 10 minutes of beautiful ta video charts on my mother's birthday in heaven guys uh, enjoy it let's jump into the first chart bam This one is Aurox platform. I'm using Aurox and TradingView just to show you always the difference. And I also like to play around with Aurox. I just like, I just really like the platform. Um, guys, if we look at the four hour chart, we can see something very important playing out. And this is like about the, sm the, the, the small time frame. You know, this is the, the trading time frame, four hour, one hour, 15 minutes. And then we need to keep an eye on what is happening. And if we look at the downward channel, the red one over there, then we can see that the downward channel is um, my face now there, perfect in the downward corner. <laughs> but in this downward channel, you can see we broke out of it two times over here and we came back into it and we went back to the bottom. We broke out now again and we came back to it very close now and we must not close a body inside of this channel so for me this closing of this candle um, which is I don't know why it's not showing that normally it should be showing let's see um, countdown to bar close which is in 35 minutes this one I would love to see the closing of this candle above that green line and above that red line so just go up like to 34,500 or something like that. That would be a good closing. If we are going to close inside that area again, that channel, guys, that could mean that Bitcoin will go down again. And then yes, we will fall down first, bam, to that green area and maybe peek in and try to come up again. But then if we get resistance again, then there is a chance we would go bam, down, not back in time like this one but down to this bottom channel which is around 26k i don't want that i want to stay above and i want to go to this area the 40k area and i'm going to show you now why that 40k area is very important and yes still we had that w over here which normally should say we would go to the 40k but we just can only analyze the charts and then the charts are saying this now and if we look at the bam bam at the moment the bam bam also told us to go into a short even closing the candles down below the yellow stepping line over there that is the definite of a short there the bam bam is crossing the white line and let's see the, the bottom and also the green is turning into the yellow the red line is also at that point on top so one two three four confirmation of taking the short um, if you would have taken that short you would already be in profit at the moment but uh, the profit wouldn't be big at the moment so let's see let's just do a calculation and let's see you took it over there when you closed it then you would be now in a three percent profit uh, in a short um, it could be a bigger short but let's see i hope we find support over here i'm not um, i don't prefer shorting i prefer longing guys like this beautiful long over there that would have been, was a beautiful long long flag closing above the candle bam bam crossing a lot of green down here and that is the long you want to take and that long brought you all the way up there 11 percent profit just by following the bam bam indicator guys let's jump into the charts why i say that 40k is very important this one bam oh wait this one is also cool this is the wake of pattern i just want to come back to it because i showed it the last time and we need to see if it is uh, still checking up let's play hmm 
kind of, kind of not. So yes, we we made a new top over there. We came down. That's also okay. Then this top should have been around 37k, 38k. That didn't go up. It got, went only to 36. We are going down again. So if this point over there is number two, this two would be a little bit lower there. There, then we should see a pullback, and we are seeing the pullback. And then we would have one fourth wave going up to 41. So that is what we are waiting for. The fourth wave to go above that 41. Yes, they agree with me. Do you hear them? Bam. And that is also what I drew already on this chart, on the daily chart some time ago for you guys. I told you we were uh, always dipping on the 25th of that month. And that was um, true for the last eight months now. So um, I should change this text into last eight months now because we dipped always on that 25th and then I told you there are two patterns that we could follow the red one that we go down the road and uh, dip on the 22 <coughs> on the 25th of July somewhere around uh, 24k or we were moving up and going for that red line the 200 day moving average I think that red line is very important at the moment we should be breaking that red line very soon and I will give it the next three weeks till the 25th to break that line if we didn't break that 200 line before the 25th of uh, July, I see us dipping back again. And then I think the market structure is going to change because we really need to come, we really need to come above this line area here, this area. And I hope that this wave is going to go up, come down a little bit, and then break above the line. And then, you know, if we dip then, we wouldn't dip below the 200 day moving average that quickly because it's a very important line of resistance and support we need to break the next three weeks very exciting very exciting if you look to the bottom of the chart you can also see on the daily the this dollar line this one the price is going downwards but the rsi is going up that is like bullish divergence this is also going to play out in the next three weeks it's till the 25th of july it's going to be very exciting bullish divergence normally means we are going up it also when we look to the complete bottom over here that is the hash ribbon on the hash ribbon you can see that the red cup had, has bottomed out and is going to go up and then we need to come up again like that also that would be a very bullish thing so bullish divergence on the daily still in a bear trend but we should be able to break the 200 day moving average line that is around 40k that is the next target guys bam and if we zoom out a little bit more on the weekly chart we can see the same playing out there is a lot of support of this line over there but we shouldn't go down lower more and that is what i told you the last time as well if you look here at rsi we can see also there this line coming up on the weekly the price going down there's also the bullish divergence on the weekly and we also can see that every time we bought around that 40 level of the rsi every time we showed it with these boxes 40 level of the rsi if we dip down below it that was the optimal buying moment if you dip down below it you buy you go up you buy you go up so now we did touch that line again and we are creating a higher low so i want to see now us going up again to show that the market is bullish because else i still believe we could stay bearish but that is what i want to see i want to see another rsi movement upwards i want to see a green candle showing here on the weekly and bam because we just closed another red candle on the monthly that we can see over here ah, the BLX does not work yet so if i switch to this one you can see um, we did another monthly close uh, June here on yesterday and today we opened another red candle and this red candle July needs to become green I don't want to see four red candles in a row guys this candle needs to become green and July has been a positive month so I hope that that month will turn green and have the support of this red line over here go up to the midline again around 48,000 so that 40k level is over there 48,000 over there that is what we want to see and I can show you something else on other charts but bam before I show you just to celebrate the 50k subscribers I'm going to do a really cool giveaway today on Twitter I think 
probably giving away some satoshis, maybe 50,000 satoshis to, to 50 people or something like that. Um, I still need to make up my mind, but keep an eye on my Twitter because I'm going to give away some uh, satoshis or family tokens maybe because I want to celebrate the 50k subscribers. And if you want to trade the charts and the bam bam and all that stuff, then please go uh, down below the videos and down below the videos, you will find all the links to all the exchanges that you need. So you can use over there, sorry, you can uh, take the max benefit now at the moment is I think it's not six and hundred dollars on Bybit uh, use this link you can use 50% deposit on bonus on uh, Prime XBD if you use that link and um, please show uh, sign up to Machina Trader because that is where our social environment will go to and Aurox is where I'm trading at the moment and I'm doing the technical analyze really cool platform you can sign up there as well yes Dudex also a bonus and yes Binance you can also claim your bonuses by clicking those links guys let's jump now into the next part um, by the way if you want to uh, have more information on the indicators go to thebitcoinfamily.com i never show you guys this why don't i show this on this website you will find all the information on all our products you can see the tick tick you can tick tock you can see the bam indicator you will find everything over there um, if you need more information how to get it and which is a triple confirmation blah blah all that stuff uh, blah blah why do you say blah blah guys i don't know blah blah um uh, let's jump now into the next part this part bam this is the last part of the video and then i'm going to stop um let's put my face over there now this is um the ptc price on certain dates so 29th of june of 2019 we were at 11k the 29th of june of 2020 we were at 9k the 29th june of 2021 we were at 36k can you see the growth the growth you can see here at the CAGR which means like an averaged out growth curve which means in total we have now a 200% grow every year that's a huge growth in Bitcoin and if you compare that with other BAM assets that you could um, sorry that BAM didn't work <laughs> if you compare that with other assets that hey that's the wrong one did he with other assets BAM this one over here then you can see that Bitcoin is outperforming all of those assets. That's why I'm all in in Bitcoin. That's why I don't have stocks, that I don't have all that other stuff, gold, cash, commodities. I don't use it. I only use Bitcoin. And why? Um, because you look at this chart and then if you look at this chart and you would need to decide, ah, where do I, sh where should I have invested in in the last 10 years or where do I need to invest in now? Then, then please just look at um, this number over there, damn, bam, this one. This number is this big. Not one of these numbers is like compared. And if you look at the 206 annualized, this means nothing comes close. Nothing comes close. And that is why I am invested in Bitcoin. Because why would I be invested in something completely different, guys, that is like not even coming close? to Bitcoin. Why would I invest in something that not even comes close to Bitcoin if that is giving me the most return on investment every year on average? That is why you should be there. And this is going to be more and more. It's not going to drop because of BAM, for example, this, because this over here is showing you the newspaper. This is the Wall Street Journal today. Bitcoin for the people. Huge advertisement because there's banks are now going to give access to the people to buy Bitcoin. Hundreds of millions of people, I think, now get access because of this um, news that I read yesterday and now also is in the newspaper today. So, yes, guys, this is huge, huge, and it's going to be bigger, bigger and bigger. And bam, this is also something very important that you should see of this beautiful day, because if you look at this and you can see the blue lines, the bottom lines these are the lines where the price is subject to free market forces so free market free economy buying selling buying selling there you can see that all the blue lines everything became cheaper because of the free market force the cars became cheaper the household holding furnishings the clothing cell phone services it all became a little bit uh, cheaper because of the free market now look at the above lines the red lines these are subject to regulatory invested, invested <laughs> intervention sorry, by the governments. So these are like, like 
forced into price movements because of our governments. And look what that happened. They only got more expensive. So for me, it means centralization, well, we go up in price like that. And if we do decentralize and keep a free market, we go down in price. And that is more positive for us guys. And for Bitcoin, we need to go up in price, but we don't want centralization. So bam, one more thing guys, on this beautiful day, the day of my birthday of my mom in heaven, I want to remind you to one thing. She always told me, Didi, don't fear life. And I want to end this video with this quote. The secret of happiness is freedom. And the secret of freedom is courage. Please don't let them force you to give up your freedom. Because that will never lead to happiness. Live your life to the fullest. Enjoy life every little second of the day. Because that is exactly what life should be about. That was the end of the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. The notification, notification bell. And leave a comment down below the video, guys. Yes, uh, I'm going to stop now because already 15 minutes instead of 10 minutes. Too long. I'm going to enjoy my day. Tonight, have dinner with my whole family because to celebrate the birthday of my mother. Mm. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again in another TA video and maybe even today in a beautiful family view. See you later guys. Bam!